Israeli intelligence official says we've been dealing with aliens. They're on Mars and Trump knows all about it. Coming up next on Deceptions of the Ages News. Hello, everybody. Happy holidays and welcome to Deceptions of the Ages News. Got a great story this morning for you. Let's just get right into it. This is from NBC News. Story by Adela Suleiman and Paul Goodman came out December 8th, 2020. Headline, former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows all about it. A galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are, Haim Eshed said. A former Israeli space security chief has sent eyebrows shooting heavenward by saying that earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. The unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready, Haim Eshed, former head of Israel's Defense Ministry Space Director, Directorate, told Israel's Yediat Aharonot newspaper. The interview in Hebrew ran on Friday and gained traction after parts were published in English by the Jerusalem Post on Tuesday. A respected professor and retired general, Eshid said the aliens were equally curious about humanity and were seeking to understand the fabric of the universe. Eshid said cooperation agreements had been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. There is an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here, he said. Eshid added that President Donald Trump was aware of the extraterrestrial's presence and existence and had been on the verge of revealing information but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria. They have been waiting until today for humanity to develop and reach a stage where we will understand in general what space and spaceships are, Eshid said, referring to the Galactic Federation. The White House and Israeli officials did not immediately respond to an NBC's request for comment. Su Gao, a spokesman for the Pentagon, declined to comment. A spokesman for NASA said one of the agency's key goals was the search for life in the universe, but that it had yet to find signs of extraterrestrial life. Although we have yet to find signs of extraterrestrial life, never a straight answer, is exploring the solar system and beyond to help us answer fundamental questions, including whether we are alone in the universe, the spokesman said in a statement. Eshed's ideas are spelled out in more detail in the universe beyond the horizon. Conversations with Professor Haim Eshed by Hager and I published in November. Eshed, who oversaw the launch of numerous Israeli satellites into space, said he was only speaking out now because attitudes were changing and people are more receptive. If I had come up with what I'm saying today five years ago, I would have been hospitalized, he told Yediat. Today they're already talking differently. I have nothing to lose. I've received my degrees and awards. I'm respected in universities abroad. In May, Trump said, space is going to be the future, both in terms of defense and offense. We're now the leader on space, as he was presented with the official flag of a newly created military branch, Space Force. Its focus, along with the Space Command, is on space as a military domain for the U.S., preserving satellites and communications, and a focus on geopolitics in new terrain. Eshed's comments immediately spawned jokes and theories online. At least half a dozen accounts have been created on Twitter claiming to be representatives from the Galactic Federation. 
Other users have asked for preferential treatment and meetings with the other worldly group. Nick Pope, who used to investigate UFOs for the British Ministry of Defense, described Eshed's remarks as extraordinary. Either this is some sort of practical joke or publicity stunt to help sell his book, perhaps with something having been lost in translation, or someone in the know is breaking ranks, he said. Pope said the, univ said the UFO and conspiracy theory community was excited, but that questions remain, including whether or not Eshed was speaking from direct personal knowledge and experience or whether he's repeating something he's been told. There are still some missing pieces of the puzzle here, he said. Now, if you'd like to go into a more in-depth investigation of this story, I will be doing a hour to 90 minute podcast on my Encounters USA channel where we look for aliens, Bigfoot, and Dogman. So I would also like to encourage you to read my book, Deceptions of the Ages, Mormons, Freemasons, and Extraterrestrials, so that you really understand who is behind the UFO cover-up and why. All right then, pretty simple stuff, pretty exciting stuff. We're going to keep you updated. Don't forget to do the podcast. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like this channel, hit the subscribe button, leave your comments, hit like, do all the things you do on social media, and go ahead and check us out. Uh, all my books are available at Encounters USA, as well as a bunch of really fun and exciting merchandise. All right then, so until next time, I'm Matthew Hines for Deceptions of the Ages News, and we'll see you next time. Happy Holidays.